Have you ever wondered about the safety and efficacy of the rapidly developed COVID-19 vaccines? In the whirlwind of the pandemic, vaccines emerged as a beacon of hope, promising an end to the global crisis. But as we navigate through this uncharted territory, new evidence is emerging that may challenge our initial optimism. Published in the National Institute of Health's National Library of Medicine, a review has cast a critical eye on this prevailing narrative. It scrutinizes the safety and efficacy of these vaccines, suggesting that our understanding of them is still evolving. This has profound implications, especially for healthcare professionals, in terms of recognizing vaccine-related diagnoses and understanding the need for therapeutics. But what's at the heart of this enigma? The answer lies in the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, a key component of these vaccines. So what makes the spike protein potentially harmful? Let's delve into the science. The SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, it's not just a key for the virus to enter our cells. If we dig a bit deeper, we'll find that this protein wears many hats, some of which we're just beginning to understand. A recent review has challenged a statement from the Australian health regulator, the Therapeutic Goods Administration, or TGA. The TGA had previously asserted that the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein was not pathogenic, meaning it wasn't capable of causing disease. However, this review argues otherwise, citing significant evidence to the contrary. So what is this evidence? It turns out that the spike protein can indeed be pathogenic. And this is true in several scenarios. First, when the protein is part of the virus itself, it can cause disease. Second, when it originates from the virus, let's say from a fragment of the virus, it retains its pathogenic nature. And third, when the protein is produced within our own human cells due to the mRNA of the vaccines, it can also cause disease. Now, let's pause for a moment and consider that last point. The spike protein produced by our own cells due to the vaccines causing disease. That's a bit unsettling, isn't it? It's a bit like inviting a guest into your home only to have them start breaking your furniture. This is not to say that the vaccines are inherently harmful. They've been instrumental in curbing the severity of COVID-19 infections and saving countless lives. However, it does suggest that we need to better understand the full role of the spike protein, not just its role as a key for the virus to enter our cells. In fact, this protein has been linked to various diseases. It's a bit like a criminal mastermind capable of causing chaos in many different ways. And it's this versatility, this ability to cause disease in multiple ways that makes it such a significant concern. The spike protein's role isn't confined to facilitating the virus's entry into human cells. It's a bit like a wolf in sheep's clothing, hiding its true nature until it's too late. And understanding this complex character is key to our ongoing fight against COVID-19. The pathogenicity of the spike protein has far-reaching implications. It's not just about facilitating the coronavirus's entry into human cells anymore. The spike protein, particularly its S1 subunit, has been linked to a variety of diseases. This link is seen when the protein is produced within our bodies due to the mRNA content of the vaccines, or even when it's free but of viral origin. But that's not where the story ends. The carriers used in mRNA and Novavax vaccines, known as lipid nanoparticles, have been found to possess pro-inflammatory properties. This means they have the potential to trigger inflammation in the body, adding another layer of complexity to the vaccine's impact. So, we are looking at a dual threat here. The pathogenicity of the spike protein, coupled with the inflammatory properties of the vaccine carriers. These two factors together might amplify the risk of complications, but remember, as our understanding evolves, so will the strategies to mitigate these risks. The combination of the spike protein's pathogenicity and the inflammatory properties of the carriers might amplify the risk of complications. All these findings challenge the foundational belief that the spike protein, especially when delivered via vaccines, is benign. A wave of re-evaluation is sweeping across the medical community. The implications are far-reaching, as we've been operating under the premise that these vaccines are largely safe. But with the spike protein's pathogenic nature thrown into the spotlight, the need for therapeutics to treat potential vaccine-related diagnoses has become more pressing. We're at a crossroads, a moment of reckoning. 
The data compels us to question and reassess our current understanding of the vaccines and the spike protein. We're not discarding the effectiveness of vaccines against severe COVID-19 infection, but we're acknowledging that there might be underexplored side effects tied to the spike protein and the vaccine carriers. This is a call to action for researchers and healthcare professionals worldwide. It's time to delve deeper, investigate further, and enhance our understanding. As we gain more insights into the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein and the vaccines, we will be better equipped to develop effective strategies to combat COVID-19.